Welcome back to Yolo Cometa. My name is Benji and today we're going to be finishing off the 2024 season with Il Lombardia as the spare point race on the menu. In previous seasons this parkour was far more mountainous, now it's more of a hilly parkour with the Bergamo Alta 1k climb near the end. We've got the Salvino as biggest obstacle I guess, 9 kilometers at 6%. Kovi should be able to get over that. Now on to the race, I want to win. Il Lombardia, the monument of the day. Fortunato, Kovi, Aramburu, Fancelu, Aru, Fisher Black and Albanese at the start line, two of which in the fitness peak, Albanese and Alex Aramburu. According to the game, I've got no chance of winning this, let's prove it wrong. Jesus, Antonio Nibli riding for EF Education first, I did not see that happen at all. We're now on the Madonna del Ghisalo, normally the uh, climb that near the end of the Lombardia in certain years. This time around we're doing the opposite route, so from Como to Bergamo instead of the other way around. As a consequence, it's near the start. With about 100k to go, we are entering the uh, more difficult phase of the race. These four upcoming climbs starting off at the Colle Gallo, 5k at 7.3%. I think we should be able to get over these climbs relatively doably, but we gotta watch out to keep our positioning all right. Wait, what? Enric Mas is attacking? It's not even on a climb yet! Why would you do that? There we go, we got over the Gallo with our entire team and we still have full energy almost with Kovia and Aramburu, so it's looking good, let's hope we can keep that up on the next climb as well. Alex Aramburu has the most trouble on the climb, we're already past the halfway point, so ideally I can struggle towards the top and still survive. It looks like that might happen. Kovi is near the front, Fortunato as well, so that's perfect. In an ideal world I can get Aramburu also over the climb, then I've got a lead out, but Unfortunately, Albanese is not having the best day at the back of the group here. Perfect, we've topped. Almeida brought us over the top for UAE. Fortunato and Kovi survived quite well. Aramburu not too far behind. So let's settle ourselves at the front. Let's regenerate in this descent. Let's survive that small peak in the descent and then the next climb. Ooh, that's a rough tempo by Vingega on this climb. Very following Dumoulin so forth. So the climbers. Kovi's got Aramburu protecting him. Fortunato not too far behind. Albanese is here trying to get water to the front, but that looks like it's kind of unlikely with the energy he has. And we topped. Albanese, can you hold on? Nope, you are gone. So we'll need to get some water before the next climb. Let's do so with Fortunato in the descent. Meanwhile, Kovi, once again, regenerate. Now the final climb. Still Almeida pacing for Pogacar. We're still settled perfectly with Kovi. Still proper energy, so... uh. I've got a good feeling about this. Now that's an attack. Pogacar goes Pare Pantre Bernal. Let's see if we can counter that right here. We've got an entire valley afterwards, just in case if we don't catch them, but I don't want to give them 30 seconds either. How are they able to sprint like that up this bloody climb? We're almost near them though, so this is good. Fortunato's gone. Aramburu's gone, so we kind of need to bridge right now, otherwise we won't make it towards the front. Let's go right now. Let's attack towards their wheel and make sure we are in the wheel. There we go. Perfect, we are with them, so that's nice. Let's sit up on 85 and regenerate in this bloody descent. The group is thickening again, we've got 24 people. Fortunato, come on man, bridge up together with these lads. If we can get ourselves back to the front with Fortunato, we've at least got someone to try and uh, counter attacks with. Nice, Fortunato's in the group, perfect. Let's get to the front and make sure he can counter any attacks that follow, because they are going to follow. And there is one, we've got Benoit going, Madua going, there we go, crisis averted, Fortunato to the front on 70, and ready to counter any attacks before we get to the Bergamo Alta climb in about 8.5 kilometers. Once again an attack by a Cofidis rider, Tish Benoit, Bernal, Pogacar, before this corner, let's try and follow that at all costs, there we go, come on Fortunato, another attack on the left with 8k to go just before Bergamo Alta, come on Kovi, one kilometer towards the climb, Hold on, man, hold on. Let's follow the wheel of Pitcock on this climb. 6k to go. We can do this, we can do this. Come on, Pitcock, please have a good day. Please have a good day. Alaphilippe trying to get away on Bergamo Alta. Landa following the wheel. Come on, Kovi, hold on, hold on, hold on. Kovi is doing good, 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 perfect. Is that an attack by Kovi? Oh, I stopped following Pitcock, damn it. We need to get to that wheel, to Landa, to whoever, because I need to stay in a proper position before the sprint starts which isn't about 3.5 kilometers we've got Pitcock still trying to attack up front he's got a tiny bit of a gap on Landa so that's not ideal let's try and follow Benoit right no 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 Landa why did you do that Landa no oh, no we had it in our hands we had it in our hands and Landa threw it 
Pitcock wins the Lombardia. Oh, come on. Get out of here, man. Get out of here. I don't want to see it anymore. Oh, I am so sad right now. We get fifth. Bloody fifth. I was following Pitcock on Bergamo Alta. If I just kept myself in that wheel instead of putting myself on maintain position or effort cards, uh, I could have won this, but I didn't. Anyway, the past is the past. We can't do anything about it. We can only look at the future and try and win this one in 2025. That's it for 2024. We won two of the three Grand Tours with Lorenzo Fortunato. Pogacar took away the Tour de France, was much stronger there than our team. When it comes to the monuments, we got very close once again in MSR. In the Tour of Flanders, we won with Alessandro Covi, so we won a monument this year. I would have loved to win two with the Lombardia being included in that, but that did not happen. Roubaix, Wout van Aert, Liège, Maximilian Schachmann. Now, I am curious, though, who is going to win the Velo d'Or in the end? Fortunato or Pogacar? Or will, for example, Demar win it because of the World Championships? It's time to vote. Last year, we came second with Oldani after winning the World Championships. Let's take a look what we do this year. It's time to vote. Last year, we came second with Oldani by just winning the World Championships. This year, we'll vote for Fortunato, obviously. I will put... Kovi in second, obviously, and Alamburu in third, yes. Now, because we're very corrupt, we can't vote on the people that have a chance of winning it. So, Pogacar can't get a vote. Demar cannot get a vote. We need to vote on people that have literally no chance. First name that comes to mind, Sergio Higuita. There we go. Secondly, Martinez did podium the Tour de France, but I don't think he's got a chance of winning it. So, let this be my five votes. Let's hope that Lorenzo Fortunato takes the win here. We've got an email, winner of the Sinai Trophy. Let's open it and hope that it says Lorenzo Fortunato. No! We're not even on the podium! How are we not on the podium? This is illegal! How is this possible? This makes no sense! We won the Giro and the Vuelta and we're not on the podium! Demar wins World Championships, nothing else, and is on the podium! And ironically, not a single journalist in this game has got Fortunato in first, except for the two Italians. <laughs> Wow. Nonetheless, our disappointment aside, we've got our 2025 team ahead of us right now. A team with which we're going to hunt the following races in 2025. liege baston liege Paris-Roubaix, the Tour de France, and finally, the Lombardia. At the start of the series, we mentioned that the Giro win would be the end of the series. Now, that was a bit too quickly for my liking. And as a consequence, we changed that to winning all three Grand Tours. If we win the Tour de France in 2025... That would be the end of the series. When do you think we should end this series? Should we do so by the end of winning the Tour de France? Or should we find another goal, I'm not sure what, to try and finish it off with otherwise? So whatever your take is on the topic, when I should end this series, drop it in the comment section and uh, I'll have a read afterwards. Before we finish off today's episode and the 2024 season, let's take a look at the transfers of the other teams to see what the world around us looks like. Turns out Macho van der Poel is leaving Jumbo Visma and joining Astana together with Stefan Kung, Leknesun and so forth. And if you look at the departures, a lot of people leaving as well. Melir to Bora, Philipsen to Grupama. Now with Melir joining, it looks like Sam Bennett is departing from the team of Bora once again. Oh wow, Kofidis is signing one of ours. Catania is going to uh, Kofidis. Meanwhile, Turkey is leaving towards Jumbo Visma. The Evanication first is losing Hugh Carthy to Team Bike Exchange and Bilbao is joining the team instead. With Jasper Philipsen joining Grupama, they're also losing Demar next to Kum. We've already seen that to Astana. Demar is leaving to Lotto Sudal. Now a transfer we were aware of, I think, in one of the previous episodes. Joel Almeida joining Ineos Grenadiers together with Vere, also coming from UAE. We've got Martinez leaving for Project Africa. Bilbao leaving for EF, as we've just seen. I swear, Carapaz only joined Lotto Sudal previous year for Ewan, and Demar is already replacing him again, so turns out they do prefer sprinters. Oh my god, and he's going to Movistar. I just realized that. Now they can chase him in their own team. They're also getting Peter Sagan from Alpecin, and Enric Maas is going towards Jumbo Visma. Not too many changes when it comes to the Koenig. The Plus is joining, Conchi's joining, Port is leaving, and Honore as well. Port is actually retiring at 39. The Yuka leaving it looks like store is going towards Yumbo from bike exchange oh snap a lot of transfers at Yumbo 10 riders coming in 9 leaving Maas, Turgi, Padun, Van Marcus, Storer, Riesebeek and so forth and departing Vanderpool fast towards Iolo Cometa 
Axel von der Tuch to DSM, Oman, Groschartner and so forth leaving. Now we've already spoken about it, UAE has Joao Almeida leaving and Sam Bennett coming in. That's probably a good trade because while they did have Ackermann and Gaviria, those are 79 and 78 sprint while a Sam Bennett is 82 and replaces a climber, GC rider, which they already have in Tadej Pogacar. Anyway, I'm afraid that's roughly about it. Thank you very much for watching this last episode of 2024 and I'll see you for the start of the new season. Goodbye.